Hey guys, Mile Marker Brian here with Anna Caps from Deep Blue Freediving. Not only is she a certified diving instructor, freediving instructor, she's also a professional performing mermaid. I know, I just said mermaid. I'm sitting here with a mermaid. You want to know more? We're going to tell you all about it in this episode of Local Hotspot. So through PADI, which is the Professional Association of Dive Instructors, or the American Red Cross. So I, I do um, certification courses. I am certified from both of those agencies. As a professional mermaid, I am an underwater artist. So I do, it's very similar to uh, circus performing or um, stunt work or things like that. Uh, I am a highly trained professional um, and I am working as a performance artist utilizing those skills that I have as a professional free diver, scuba diver, and uh, rescue swimmer. So I am originally from South Carolina. I grew up diving. Um, I've been scuba diving since I was about eight years old. Uh, and then at about age 12 or 13, my father made me aware that there was a place in Florida called Wikiwachi Springs that did mermaid summer camps and mermaid performances. Well, at that point, I think at age 12 or 13, I was like just one year over the age for that. So I could no longer attend the summer camps or anything. So of course I became obsessed with it. Um, and I started, uh, you know, I was a lifeguard growing up. I worked in the aquatics department all throughout college and kind of always my, my background, um, you know, if, if my primary uh, career goals didn't work out, I was like, ah, oh, if this doesn't work out, I'll just go be a mermaid. If school gets too hard, I'll go be a mermaid. If I don't get into graduate school, I'll just go be a mermaid. Um, and so I progressed uh, through that and wound up realizing that the aquatics industry, dive industry, and professional mermaid work was actually what I really wanted to do instead of all the other stuff that I was working towards. So like I mentioned before, I have been diving for a very long time and that certainly set me up for success. I've been a scuba diver since I was eight years old. I've been a lifeguard since I was 15 been a lifeguard instructor for over 10 years, swim instructor, um, and all of those skills really set me up for success. But my main training um, that I really see as invaluable for being a professional mermaid is my free diving certification. So uh, my PADI free diving certifications, as well as my advanced master and instructor certifications really allow me to utilize advanced skills in um, some different aquatic environments outside of say a pool or something like that. Uh, for example, when I am doing aquarium shows, I'm often swimming on a breath hold in an aquarium that is about 10 to 15 deep. The water temp is 72 to 76 degrees, depending on what environment those fish are used to. And I'm not wearing weights. So the majority of my dives for uh, performance work are done on an exhale, which is an advanced free diving skill called a functional residual capacity or FRC dive. Um, and that's something that's not covered until at least level three of the free diving course programming. So really free diving courses are the way to go if you want to be a professional mermaid. Um, it's not all glitter and glamour. Um, in fact, it's no glitter because Glitter, water, fish, it just doesn't mix. You don't want it in your eyes. You don't want the animals in the environment to eat it. And it does a number on a filtration system. So, um, you know, some of the challenges that you face really, as I mentioned before, are um, the temperature of the water. Um, we lose body heat rapidly um, at a water temperature that's any lower than our natural body temperature of 98 degrees. So if I'm diving in, you know, 76 degree water, then I risk hypothermia. Uh, so it's really important for me to have a safety who's watching out for those things. Um, I am doing advanced dives repeatedly. So it's really important for me to have a safety who's watching out to make sure that 
I'm recovering properly, I'm breathing up properly, and I am minimizing my risk of underwater blackout and taking care of my ears, eyes, nose, sinuses, all of that stuff because all of the water that's in the tank is going into my body. So um, mermaids don't wear masks or goggles. <laughs> um, so I've got to have eye protection, um, just maintaining my personal health within the environments that I perform um, is a challenge in and of itself. My most memorable performances um, is a performance that I did recently. Um, I actually got to fly out to Vegas <laughs> and shoot with a production company um, at an aquarium there uh, at the Silverton, which was really, really cool. It's this beautiful tank. It's relatively shallow in terms of aquarium uh, situations. So it's only, I think about 12 or 15 feet deep. And uh, I got to perform with some of my, my best friends within, and colleagues within the mermaiding industry. And we got to swim around in this tank that is stocked with all of these beautiful fish, rays, sharks. And it was just, it was probably one of the most magical experiences uh, that I've participated in as a performer. Not to mention there's a really cool swim through that I got to swim through, which was nice, like a little archway. So it's not a overhead environment per se, but it is a cute little swim through and it made for some really great content. So the show premiered May 23rd, I believe, and I am only in episode three. So that, that tank performance that I talked about, that was part of this opportunity is working with Scout Productions and Netflix to shoot this episode of the docu-series Mer People, um, which is right now only four episodes, but there's talks of maybe some additional seasons, which will be really cool. Uh, but it was just a really interesting opportunity to be a part of, uh, just being seeing what goes into the production of a docu-series, really being on film and essentially doing stunt work on film. Yeah, so um, I, I'm not really sure how it happened, uh, but I'm very thankful that it did. I am in the title uh, shot, basically the cover image for the Mer People series with my friend Mermaid Sparkles, um, who we finally got to swim together in this environment in Vegas. It was really, really cool. And uh, yeah, it's been really interesting to see my face out and about and randomly scrolling through Netflix. Um, it's something that I never really thought would happen, but it's really cool. <laughs> yeah. Part of being a mermaid and a diver, especially, um, is economic um, and ecological stewardship, right? So basically being a steward for the aquatic environment uh, and people people forget about things, right? So we're living our lives day to day. Um, being a mermaid performer gives them uh, kind of a touchstone, something to, to really associate with conservation. And that also gets them interested in diving and incorporating conservation and sustainable diving practices into their everyday lives. And like Jacques Cousteau said, right? Like people protect what they love. So if people are engaged in the aquatic environment, especially living down here in the Keys where the water is everywhere. It's under us, around us, in us, all over. It's really, I, I see it as a disservice if we as a community and as individuals of this beautiful space don't take it upon ourselves to continue to preserve the environment that we live in. I would advise them to reach out to me. So uh, reach out to me. I am happy to answer any questions that anybody has about becoming a professional mermaid. And step one is to start with your uh, aquatic competence. So being really comfortable swimming in a variety of different ways, in a variety of different environments, and then coming to me for some mermaid certification courses. Those mermaid certification courses that Patty launched in 2020 are really a gateway into the mermaiding world. And as a professional mermaid, you will graduate probably from those mermaid courses into the free diving programming so that you can learn 
those more advanced skills like FRC dives, advanced equalization techniques, and advanced buoyancy control techniques. But really, all it takes is just a little bit of time and a little bit of training and proper insurance, <laughs> uh, which is really, really important because you do have to have insurance to be in this industry. As I mentioned, it is a dangerous art um, and it is a dangerous industry to be a part of, but it is well worth it. Um, and you can get started with just a fabric tail and some basic certifications. So uh, Deep Blue Freediving uh, is my training company. Deep Blue Mermaiding is my, my performance company. Um, but Deep Blue Freediving offers uh, pretty much the full range of paddy courses. I primarily focus on the freediving program track and the mermaid program track. Uh, I also do spearfishing instruction, so if you are interested in learning how to spearfish and uh, feed your family sustainably, especially down here in our environment where we have the third largest barrier reef system in the world, uh, you can come to me and we'll talk about sustainable spearing. And I also do safety training for the American Red Cross, so part of being a safe diver, a safe mermaid is also having staff that can support you and knowing how to support other people when you're in the water. So lifeguard training, first aid CPR, uh, basic life support, things like that. Um, now when it comes to the retreats, that's something that I am really, really stoked about. I just launched it this year. Um, I am very passionate about creating an environment that is welcoming and empowering for women divers and getting more women in the water. So I launched Water Women Retreats, which are women's only dive retreats. And it is a four day long retreat. It en encompasses your free diving certification, yoga, nutrition for free diving, because there, is some, uh, some, there are some special dietary needs and preferences for looking into optimizing your free diving, right? Um, and just general camaraderie and creating an environment where women divers can come unencumbered. There's no like looming, you know, oh, I really need you to do this because I need a buddy, right? It's because you want to do it. Um, and getting women in the water and spearfishing and free diving and just a group of badass water women. And, uh, ways that you can get in touch with me. If you want to get in touch with me to hire me as a professional mermaid, you can search Deep Blue Mermaid or deepbluemermaid.com. Both of those will take you to my performance website. If you're interested in courses or training, um, you can go to Google and type in Deep Blue Freediving, or you can search freediveintoblue.com. That is my training website. That's where I list all of my courses, retreats, work sessions, uh, training sessions, skill sessions, all of those things. Um, and either of those websites will give you my contact information. You can also find me on Instagram at Deep Blue Freediving or at Deep Blue Dot Mermaid. And I answer my Instagram messages pretty consistently as well. I don't know, we covered so much already, but I really am passionate about bringing freediving, safety, and the joy of connecting with the underwater world to the Keys community, whether that is through mermaiding or freediving or spearfishing. And I am especially passionate about creating a welcoming and empowering space for women who are interested in exploring the underwater world. Um, and I've got some really fun and exciting things in the works that will be coming probably within the next six months to a year. Um, and it will really, it'll really help with creating that space uh, for women and divers of all backgrounds. Um, so I'm really excited about that. So stay tuned.